so sick of it Run up in your crib just for the sake of sticking it Yeah, I'm ridiculous I know this is Kanye's track, but I'm kissing this Still laughing at these cats like I'm ticklish Just something about that shit, I like flipping it The world's back on my dick, I'm Mike Vickin' it Hola hola, this is your boy Tico Trin. And this video is going to be about Dr. Disrespect. And my honest views or my honest opinions on why he was actually banned from Twitch. Um, this is basically just gonna be theory or basically or um This is basically you could guess you could call it my prediction on why he was actually banned from Twitch. Um Thinking about the whole entire situation, I believe he was banned from Twitch because of his lovely rule that he doesn't stream with women. Now, if you know anything about this day and age and this um this world this world and how people get very, very defensive and butthurt and, and emotional emotional very quickly, you would know it, it kinda sort of falls in the same category or same viewpoint as the Pence role for the most part where Mike Pence basically said that I did not I don't eat lunch with I don't have lunch without my wife or stuff like that based typically. I believe that a lovely Twitch dot probably got upset because he doesn't want to play games with her because he has a rule against doing that for the most part. That is my honest opinion on that one. Just because of his rule of not playing video games or not streaming with women for the most part. It's sad, but this is the day and age we live in today when you can actually be accused of any damn thing all because you don't want to or you don't want to participate in some shit with somebody else basically trying to give your significant other respect. It's like it doesn't matter if you're a guy. You should, you should want to do something with a woman despite the fact that you're married. You should want to do something with a woman that, that's not your wife for the most part. This is the world we live in where people can be disrespectful to everybody's, everybody's family's beliefs and things along the lines of that, which is really, really sad. It's funny how that's okay to do when it's like, you know, in America, but, you know, we want to respect the Muslim faith and their belief system, but when it comes to our own belief system and our own faith, it's like people want to disrespect it and throw it out the window, which is very sad. And this is something I've started to notice and arise in America and the Western world for the most part, with all these women running around, you know, if a guy doesn't want to do something, then he has to be canceled, basically. And I think that's pretty much about what it is. His rule that he doesn't stream with women. I respect that. I have no problem with that. I mean, the guy might be a dick, but he's not that big of a dick for him to be banned from Twitch for no fucking reason. But, you know, in this day and age, with the whole entire Me Too thing... Anything and everything is harassment, and you got to believe her. Hashtag believe her, basically. And it's sad, but it's so true. It's so fucking true. Like, you can't do nothing. You can't be respectful. You can't merely apply your morals. You can't merely apply your morals and other things like that anymore without being accused and or canceled in or censored by a person on on the opposite side of the aisle or a person from the left for the most part, I should say. It's just facts. It's like you can't even do anything. You can't even do anything culturally or do anything that has moral bearing or morals, that has morals in general because, you know, you'll be seen as being disrespectful to this person or that person or that person or this person for the most part or you're being discriminatory or you're being this. And the sad part about that is, the sad part this in which which is which makes it real sad in this day and age is, a lot of people consider him not wanting to play stream with women or not want to play video games with women as sexist. I think this is one of the many reasons why they're talking about getting rid of the um, the chat on Twitch, so they can so you know people have to play with other people. Or people have to do something and not know what the sex of the other person is, basically. I mean, which is very disrespectful. If you have a rule that you don't do something, and you you have a rule and you respect your wife or, you know, your significant other enough to actually want to follow this rule, you got Twitch trying to, 
you know, talk about taking away the chat area so people can't discriminate against other people. It's not discrimination. At the end of the day, it's called morals and respect. You have to respect somebody else's, you have to respect somebody else's family dynamic. You have to respect somebody culturally at the end of the day. You can't just disrespect somebody, no pun intended, all because he's white and you just want to disrespect him basically because he, he's a white male. Like It doesn't work like that. If a person has morals and has a moral compass, you should respect that person's moral, moral, morals, morals and moral compass for the most part. I mean, granted, like I said, he's not the... Sometimes he could be a dick, but at the end of the day, he still deserves his platform. And there's still this thing called freedom of speech. Freedom of expression. But I digress.